high again. Now we want to add decimals. We have the following sums 1.3 added to 1.4. We have 1.32 added to 1.4. And finally, we have 0 0.71 added to 1.31. We want to know the answers, so let's see how to do it. So, in the first experiment, we had 1.3 added to 1.4. So, very simple, this is 1.3, one, one complete chocolate bar, and 3 tenths. In the other hand, we have 1.4, so this is 1.4, one, one complete chocolate bar, and 4 tenths. Now, when we add them, it is very simple, we have two complete chocolate bars, and 7 tenths. So the answer is two complete chocolate bars and seven tenths. No problem. Now let's see the other experiment. We have 1.32 added to 1.4. Again, this is 1.32. Add it to 1.4, 1 1.32, 1 and 3 tenths and 2 hundredths, add it to 1 and 4 tenths. So the result is still simple. 2, 2 complete chocolate bar, 7 tenths and 2 hundredths. Till now, no problem. Now let's see the last experiment. We have 0 0.71. 0 0.71. 0 0.71 here, it means we don't have any complete chocolate bar. We just have 7 tenths. These are 7 tenths and 1 hundredth. So we have 0 0.71. In the other hand, we have 1.31. This is 1. This is, these are 3 tenths and 1 hundredth. So, so what is the final answer? Let's see here. We have something like a problem here. We have 1 chocolate bar. We have 10 tenths exactly. Let me arrange them. And we have 200. So, what can we deduce here? These 10 tenths make one complete chocolate bar. So, the answer is two chocolate bars and two hundredths. Again, the answer is two complete chocolate bar, no tenth and two hundredths only. Thank you. Now let's make the algorithms. Let's, let's look for the first one. We have 1.3 added to 1.4. But what I have to do is to arrange them. The decimal point should be above the other decimal point. Once above one. Tenth above tenth. This is 1.4. Add it. We should obtain 2.7. We obtain two complete chocolate bars and seven tenths, as we have seen before. Now let's look for the second addition, second sum, we have 1.32 added to 1.4. Again, arrange the decimal point above the decimal point, the, the ones above the ones, and tens above tens. We have no hundredth here in the second experiment, so when we add it, you can keep it blank or you can put zero.
I will put zero more here. This zero is very useless. Now let's add them. We have two, seven, two. So the answer is two point seventy two, and that what happened really in fact. Final experiment. In the first or the first number was zero point seventy one. We didn't have a complete chocolate bar. We just have seven pieces of tenth and one piece of tenth of hundredth. So, so this is 0 0.71. It is it was added to 1.31. Again, the decimal point above the decimal point, ones above ones, tenth with tenth, and hundredth with hundredth. Let's add it. One and one we have two. Seven and three. It is ten. Zero and one is carrot. Okay, I usually put the current number, in, the current digit inside of the circle. Now the point lies here and 1 added to 0, added to 1, 2. Do you still remember we had two complete chocolate bars and two very small pieces? These were the hundredth. Thank you.